That is me, age 13, sixth grade at Largo Central Elementary School. And I show you this because we had a school play. And all I had to do was stand there. And we rehearsed it and we rehearsed it. And then that Friday night, I hid myself and locked the bathroom. <laughs> I stayed in the bathroom until the play was at home. My parents screaming and yelling, but I wasn't coming out because I was no way getting on that stage. I was absolutely terrified. I was very intimidated. My, my, my family had a lot of tension in the house, so eventually I got very quiet, became very observant, but not very confident. Then I discovered the martial arts, and then I eventually became an expert for e Hal and Expert Village. And what they would do is they, they would give me a topic, and they'd say, okay, we need five minutes on public speaking, five minutes on hypnosis, five minutes on whatever. And at the time, I wrote a book called The Imposter Syndrome. So I did a short video for YouTube on how to develop self-confidence on a Thursday night. The next morning, I get up. My wife's driving me to the airport to go do seminars. And I'm listening to a voicemail. Hi, I just watched your video on YouTube. You're a really good speaker. People need to hear your message. I'm really good friends with Dr. Oz. I'm sure I can get you on his show. People need to hear what you have to say. Six months later, my wife and I are in New York City, and I'm on the Dr. Oz show. Holy cow. So the point that is that I went from that kid that was hiding in the bathroom, so scared to go on stage, to being, and, and this is important to understand, producers make the decision about who gets on TV and radio. If they don't think you can be interested and carry yourself, it could be their job on the line. So it's very important that you can carry yourself in these situations. So I went from that kid to here. 